Speaker Paul Ryan trying to reframe this election, saying this election really needs to be about those failed policies of the left and not the mudslinging that we've all been so distracted by. He's been under fire for saying he will not campaign for Donald Trump after his lewd comments, Donald Trump's comments, surfaced. So did Paul Ryan misplay his hand here? I mean, is he putting his career in jeopardy as well as other Republicans in down-ballot races? Democrats need to win just 30 seats to gain a majority in the House. For more analysis, I'm joined right now by former Deputy Chief of Staff to President George W. Bush, Carl Rove. Mr. Rove, good to have you here. Morning, or afternoon, Trish. Good to see you. <laughs> so, you know, this is a tricky one, right, for Paul Ryan, because in some ways you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. There are a lot of people, a lot of conservatives that don't like Donald Trump. That's hurting some of the traditional conservatives, and yet you have a ton of people as well, the base that loves them. So what are you to do if you're Paul Ryan? Well, I think he made a misstep on Monday. It was important for him. The caucus is nervous. Uh, uh, Trump is proving to be a gravitational force downward for them. Uh, remember, virtually every Republican in the House of Representatives is running ahead of Donald Trump in their district, but their numbers are to some degree tied to him. So there, as he goes down, he drags them down with him. So they're nervous, and we've gotten in a place where we, the unthinkable might just happen, namely the Republicans lose the House. So on Monday, Paul Ryan tries to reassure his caucus. He should have, in my opinion, simply said, I understand you're nervous. I'm going to devote every moment, every bit of energy I have, every resource at my disposal to getting the majority back and left the words about Trump unsaid. Mm -hmm. He didn't need to say, I'm not going to campaign for him or appear with him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to defend him. On the other hand, Donald Trump made, in my opinion, a bigger mistake, which was to take after the Republicans and say, if you don't defend me, uh, you're being disloyal and there's a crooked deal, a sinister deal going on here. Now, look, if he wants to be president and wants to be a successful president, then he needs a Republican Senate to approve his appointees and a Republican House to pass his agenda. And uh, spending the last five days attacking the House Republicans is mm -hmm. no way to go about achieving that goal. He yeah. needs them. It's their coattails that are going to bring him up, not his coattails. Yeah, no, look, they they uh, all need each other for up. sure. Um, yeah. So with all this in mind and, and looking at how things are playing out uh, and looking at how Donald Trump is increasingly struggling, struggling now in these national polls uh, and in the state by state polls, do you actually foresee a real path here to well, the Democrats a, he, taking it all? Well, look, he, I, I think they could. And, and, and if, if, if Donald Trump continues to spend his days defending himself against the, the, the charges of the latest group of of women who claim that he groped them, then, then he's going to, he's going, that path is going to get worse and worse and worse, and he's going to sink lower and lower and lower. Ryan is, in essence, giving him a suggestion as to what to do, which is to reframe this as not a battle between d d Trump's accusers and Trump, but mm -hmm. between two very different views of where America ought to go and two very different philosophies of government. Right. And, and in my opinion, Trump would be best advised to say, you know what? I'm not going to say a sin. I've said all I'm going to say about all these personal attacks. If you want to believe them, that's your business. I'm going to take the 25 days that are left to me and devote them to mm -hmm. the discussion of what I think you want to have happen. You want to have, grow an economy with more jobs. You want, to, you want to change in our trade policy. You want a tougher immigration laws. You want America to be safe and secure, secure. And I'm going to tell you why I represent change on all those questions, and she doesn't. And go very hard at her, but on the issues. And leave the rest of this stuff to be settled out by the voters one Carl, way or another. I, I, I think it's outstanding advice. Uh, you know, one should hope that he would take it, because in some ways, and I'd like your thoughts on that, on this, is he, is he just playing right into her hands? In other words, oh, yes, this totally, is a wedge issue, totally, right? You're damned if you do, damned if you totally, don't, if you're Donald Trump, because totally. women get angry if they, if they think that you're going to, you know, say these yeah. claims are not true, and they also get angry, of course, if they are true. Yeah. So well, if you keep talking about it, it's just going to keep taking you down that rabbit hole you don't need to be in. That, that's right. And look, there's one other way to look at it. Every day you spend talking about this is one day less in the campaign that you can talk about things that really do matter to people and will cause people to say, you know what, I've decided I'm going to be for you. And will cause people to say, you know what, it was undecided, but I'm going to change my mind and be for you. I was for her, and I've, you know, I'm now in doubt, or I'm now for you. Is, is the discussion about, is him attacking fellow Republicans or him trying to defend in excruciating detail his reputation mm -hmm. against these charges by these women, does that convincing to anybody except the people who are already with him? They're, they're not. Mm -hmm. So he, he better change the subject. And, and Ryan, Ryan has done this not to, 
not to help him, but to help his fellow Republicans by saying, here's the framework that we ought to adopt for the final 25 days of the campaign. Trump would be advised to think it over, mull it over, and put it in his own words and go after it. All right, some good advice from a man who knows. Carl Rove, everyone. Thank you so much, sir.